Fistulas have been around since the 1800s. I mean, the first documented fistula is um, documented by Dr. Beaumont, who was a military physician in 1825. And he met a young man named Alexis St. Martin, who was shot in the abdomen with a musket. And so he had a fistula, and Dr. Beaumont cared for him for many, many years and did everything from using rags and other leather strapping to keep his fistula controlled um, to just clothing. I think over the years of um, wound management, we really haven't come all that far. Many fistulas are managed with gauze. Frequent changes of gauze, ABD binders, um, tape, I mean that's one way to handle them. My number one goal when creating the fistula devices was to help my patients. These are my patients. I work with fistulas every single day and so my goal was to make them have a better life and um, by doing that making a unique um, easily placed device that anyone could use that's dealing with the fistula um, have a better quality of life. We have three devices to manage enteric fistulas. One is the wound crown and it's usually used for a single small bowel fistula. The second is the fistula funnel and it's used for smaller fistulas or the fistulas that are in uh, up next to the edge of the of the wound. And the isolator strip that is 14 inches long and can actually be placed side to side on the fistula or it can be placed in a large oval or any shape that you need it to be by um, bringing it back on to itself so it makes a complete circle. When you ask why is the wound crown called the wound crown, I have got to admit that at my hospital that I work at, everyone there calls me the uh, fistula queen. And so when we started this company, my husband, Andy, um, decided to call the wound crown, our very first device, the um, wound crown, because it kind of ties into the queen. <laughs> I think the devices, how they really facilitate the management is that they give you the option to actually isolate and, and um, bring the effluent into a pouching system so that the patient can mobilize, they can eat food, and that kind of thing. So uh, all three of the devices are intended to isolate the fistula from a wound bed so that the effluent that is the problem um, can be contained. As a girl that did her own technique for quite some time, um, they're easier to work with. They're, they're already pre-made for the intention of isolating a fistula. And everything else that we were doing before these devices, it, we were MacGyvering, you know, and making things fit where these are made to fit. I think 100% of the time they're trying to isolate the fistula so that they can contain the effluent in a pouching system while they're contracting and healing the wound.